A local man is out on bail after police say he hit a 76-year-old woman with his car and left her for dead. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. There were several emotional outbursts from the victim's family in court today. You're a monster. Is he 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer has more on the hit and run and why the victim's family says they were upset this morning. Well, that's right, Mike Shannon. It was in the courtroom that they were completely shocked that the suspect accused of killing their aunt just two days ago was sitting two rows behind them. But now, meantime, in the spot that this happened, there's a memorial growing of flowers and candles. You're a monster. Lisa Ranglin calls it a look of confusion, her head turning to realize the man accused of hitting, killing, and leaving her on sat right behind them. We walked in that, in that courtroom not knowing what to expect. That is outrageous. Domingo Castro was initially arraigned over the weekend where he posted bail. Violet Barrick's family tells us they were never notified. My cousins were sitting there. My aunt's children, the grandchildren, us. We need answers. We need to know why. The family now calling for change, including better communication between police, the court system, and victims' families. They say a woman who did so much for the community deserved better. She worked at the CNA for years and years, for decades, taking care of people. And in her moment when she needed the care, no one was there. And the state, the state that just took her aunt away, that just failed us. The moment Marcia Ranglin Vassal says her aunt needed help, Saturday evening, when she was hit by a truck that took off, leaving the 76 year old in the street. Providence police say she was doing everything right and was even in a crosswalk. All of these areas where there are on and off ramps to the highway are dangerous to cross, and it, it is a dangerous area. It's something nearby resident Christian Todge can attest to. He has a two month old daughter he holds close when walking in that intersection. He would be speeding and a lot of like, uh, Stops like of cars late at night, like pull over and stuff. So I keep it very close. And right now we are on a sidewalk, but you can see just up the road here at the intersection where this happened. It is a well traveled, busy area. While there are speed cameras at that traffic light, the victim's family and neighbors say more signage and police patrols could help. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. First tonight, the family of a Providence woman killed in a hit and run say they were victimized all over again in court this morning. They learned the suspect did not spend the night in jail, and tonight he's still out after posting bail. Prosecutors say he hit 76 year old Violet Barrick, says she crossed Union Avenue Saturday, then kept going. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer talked to Barrick's nieces today, one a business leader, the other a state representative. Brittany? Well, Mike Shannon, Providence police tell us Violet Barracks was doing everything right. She was in a crosswalk just feet from her home when she was hit. Now flowers and candles lay on the street where her spot, where her life was taken. But beyond this memorial, the family is also calling for change to honor the 76-year-old's memory. The family of Violet Barracks in disbelief, not only watching the man accused of killing their loved one in a hit and run released on bail, but minutes earlier realizing he was sitting two benches behind them in the courtroom. We walked in that, in that courtroom not knowing what to expect. That is outrageous. Not just for my auntie, but it needs to be addressed for every single family who will show up in a court like this. And the person who just killed their loved one and fled the scene is sitting behind them. Domingo Castro walked past the family without handcuffs as he faces a felony for leaving the scene of an accident death resulting. State Representative Marcia Ranglin Vassal, who is also the victim's niece, tells us he was initially arraigned over the weekend where he posted bail. Information she says her family found out after this morning's arraignment. Basically, walked in. To the courtroom, not even acknowledging the family, nonchalant, going on a nice little walk. Barracks was killed Saturday evening after she was hit by a truck. Providence police say the 40 year old was speeding, made an illegal U turn, and then took off, leaving the 76 year old in the street. Tragic incident uh, of a woman who is doing everything right in the crosswalk. She lives in the area. All of these areas where there are on and off ramps. To the highway 
are a dangerous to cross, and it, it is a dangerous area. And police tell us Castro turned himself three hours after the incident. He was released on bail, but the judge ordered him not to drive. He is due back in court on August 5th. Live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.